Now we ask you about some prayer and meditations. Elder Boston shall lead us in prayer. Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for another day in the land of the living. We thank you, Lord God, for the great sacrifice that you made, dying on the cross that men and women might flee the wrath to come. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your humble servant and apostle. Bishop Belton Green, how you have kept him working in the vineyard. Lord God, we ask you to continue to bless him, give him long life. Lord God, we thank you also for Bishop Melvin Samuel, one you raised up, made him an apostle in the church for the perfecting of the saints. We pray, Lord, for him as he speak to the nations, on his hearts, cry out, saying, what must I do to be saved? Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, repentant of their sins, and receive the Holy Ghost and live a holy and a sanctified life. Lord, we thank you for the choir. They sing these songs. Hearts everywhere, those in nursing homes, hospitals, everywhere might be refreshed. We ask you to heal and deliver. Lord God, we thank you for this 47th National and International Senior Missionary Conference. We ask you to give a special blessing to all the saints that partook, all those that desired to be here, these blessings we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and for the glory of God. Amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible to God's radio service coming to you. From the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here to Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. Service will be Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday evening. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523. Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now have a selection from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir dedicated to our religious title, I Know in Whom I Have Believed. Persuaded. Yes, persuaded that God is able. Yes, he is able. I know he's able. Yes, you yes, keep.
Is there evil? Yes, to keep. Keep. Oh. to the Bible True God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here at the headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green. P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located spot. Headquartered in New York City, 2075, Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer, Bishop Melvin Samuel Sisson. Washington, D.C., 2635, Martin Luther King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Minister Thomas Norwood Sister. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Street on the corner, Capistella, and Elkin Street, Elderly Taylor Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street, Elder Douglas Robinson Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock Assistant. Gloucester, Virginia, Route 17, near the White Marsh Shopping Center, Elder Robert William in charge, and Minister Ernest Page Assistant. Evergreen, North Carolina, 10362 Old Lumberton Road, near the Lennon Cross Road, Elder Samuel Wilder Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48th North Penn Street, Bishop Green Pastor. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street, Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Bishop Brandon Mack Assistant. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two Wall Street on the Highway 17, in the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Willie Bleach Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilkes Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Albert and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston Pastor. Calvin of Florida, 2385 Contra Drive. Bishop Green Pastor, Acad Deacon Charles Jones in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddie Stone Avenue, Unit 23, located near Jane and Flinch, Bishop Carl Newell, Pastor. Now at this time, it's my pleasure to present unto you, from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, the assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Sam. You can make me doubt him. You can make me doubt him. You can make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, you can make me doubt him. You can make me doubt him. You can make me doubt him in my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. In my heart. You can make me doubt him. 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 You
and make me doubt them in my heart. Oh, you can make me doubt them. You can make me doubt them. You can make me doubt them in my heart. God, the love of Jesus. God, the love of Jesus. God, the love of Jesus in our heart. Thank God of God. God, the love of Jesus. God, the love of Jesus in our heart. Satisfy with Jesus. Satisfy with Jesus. Satisfy with Jesus in my heart. Thank God I'm satisfied with Jesus. Satisfied. Satisfy with Jesus in my heart. Feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning in my heart. Thank God I feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning in my heart. Amen. Let the church say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Truly indeed again. We are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor. All that we can render to God Almighty, he's worthy of it all. And truly we are very thankful, we are very grateful to God Almighty. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Always we thank God for Bishop Green, thanking God for him allowing me this privilege once more to come before you all to fill in in his stead to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. Thanking God for the word of God. It's going to live it and it's going to abide it forever. No man live it going to be able to come along and change the purpose of God. Man. Thank God for that wonderful selection coming from the Raider Scene Choir. Thank God it's a blessing. I'm saying it's a blessing to be fully persuaded. Along this highway of holiness, you got to be fully persuaded. Say, I know in whom I believe. And I'm persuaded. My God, Apostle Paul, after he fought it a while, but after he got in it, he spake these words in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. I'm saying it's a blessing to be persuaded. You know, you can stay around here until you're fully persuaded. Yes, Paul got in the church after he fought it and after he did everything. But after he got persuaded, he said, there is not another. My God, you can be fully. Listen what the word of God said. For the which cause. For the which cause. I also suffer these things. My God. God, you might have to suffer something oh, yes. for the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Also, suffer these things. Suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. My God, you know you don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be ashamed. That's it. Following Jesus. My God, Paul got in it and he said, I count myself happy. For the wish cause. Read on. Yes, nevertheless, I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. For I know whom I have Hallelujah. believed. Hallelujah. What a blessing when you know. My God, I'm saying it's a blessing when you know. I know whom I believe. In whom I believe. And persuaded that he's My able. My God, stay along. Stay over here. You can be fully persuaded. Praise God. I'm persuaded. And he's able to Hallelujah. keep that. Hallelujah. Who is able? My God. He God. is able. He is able. To keep that My which I commit God unto him. Saints, we serve a God. I don't care what you're going through. He's able. Yes. My God, I don't care what you're confronted with. My God, tell the devil, my God is able. My God, one place that God is greater than man. I don't care what you're facing. Just remember, he is able. To keep that which I commit unto him. My God, I don't care how bad it is. Just turn it over to Jesus. He is able. Yes, he keep that. My God, that's why I'm going to trust in God. Matter what the test may be, I got a God that is able. I don't care how bad the condition may look. We got a God that is able. Yeah. I'm persuaded. That he is able. My God, that's why we're so happy over here. You go through the test. You go through the trial of the faith. But just to know God is able, yes. you're coming on back glory in your trouble. My God, matter what you're faced with, just remember, beloved, that, that he is able. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank God for you, Bishop Green. Yeah, thank I thank God for Bishop Green. Yes, He's been a old soldier on the back of field. That's what have the, these mother, mother buckler coming on back. I got she not a young person, but she she persuaded. My God, hang around here till you know God for yourself. You tell the world. It's not another. Read it on over. For the witch Creation God. to know. My God, that's why we are so happy. Going back over Second Timothy 1 and 12. For what the witch cause. For the witch cause. I also suffer these my things. My God, you might have to suffer a few things. But what? I uh, suffer these things. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. My God, you can hold your head up. The late apostle gone on to sleep. Bishop Randolph Goodwin, he tell us, don't let nothing get you down. I don't care what you face with. Don't let that thing get you down. That's it. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got a great God in you. Just hold your confidence in God. Read on. For the witch call. For the witch call. I also suffer these things. My God, I don't care what you're suffering. The Holy Ghost will make you come on back. I suffer these things. Yes, I'm not ashamed. My God, do you hear what the word of God said? Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. For I know whom I believe. What you said, Paul? I know. I know. Ooh. Hallelujah. I know. My God, when you know you come on back. My God, and say, I'm willing. I'm determined to go through. My God, sometimes it seems like the fight. Seem like it seem like it's getting longer and the backer. My God, my enemy getting strong. But when you know, 
my God, I know yes. in whom I have believed. I have believed. I am persuaded. You know you can be persuaded. Yes, sir. I'm persuaded that he is able. He is able. That he is able. That he is able. To keep that which I commit unto him. God, we serve a God. He is fully able. Oh, yes. He is fully able. Praise God. I don't care how bad the condition look. Hold your confidence in God. Because he is able. Yes, and keep that Hallelujah. which I commit unto him. Just turn it over to him. He know how to hold you up. My God to keep that yes, which I have committed, I I have committed, unto, committed him. unto him against that day. Against that day. Hold my, back. My God, hold it, saints. Trouble gonna come, but the man of God said, hold it. Hold you fast. know, when you go through, you can encourage somebody else and tell them, hold it. Why? Because God is able. Hold fast. Oh, sound word. The world to know we are holding this thing. It's not another. Hallelujah. We are holding it. My God, we are standing flat footed. Hold fast. Oh, my God, somebody gonna hold it. Somebody gonna hold it. My God, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how bad it look. My God, you better get me. Matthew chapter, I believe, 19 and the 25th verse. In spite of the condition, somebody gonna hold it. Hold fast. My God, Paul said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Everything coming at you, but somebody said, I know in whom I believe. I'm persuaded. Read on Matthew chapter 19 and the 25th verse. Help me with the gospel. When, with when the is the sight heard? Ah, when it's when the disciple heard, heard it, they were exceedingly amazed. Yeah, this thing have people amazed. And how, what kind of people is this? My God, what kind of people are like these people? My God, but he said, My God, uh, when it's time heard it, shall dwell alone, won't be reckoned among the nations. Yes. You know, people out there hearing this, when the disciple heard. They were exceedingly amazed. They were exceedingly amazed. Saying, who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them. All right, beloved. And, and said unto them. You that are having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Listen what he said. Yes. When, when? Jesus beheld them. Yes. And said unto them. Said unto them. With man, this is impossible. I don't care what it is. God is able. I don't care what it is. We serve a God that is able. Somebody out there struggling. Try to get in God's church. But the Holy Ghost said, with man. This is impossible. My God, you might face in something right now. It look impossible. My God, do you hear what the word of God says? With said? man, this is but impossible. With man, this is impossible. Hallelujah. But with you God, you might be facing something that look impossible. But when you turn it over to God, but the with God. Holy Ghost say, but, but with God. With God, all things are possible. God will turn the impossible into possible. You that are out there hearing this gospel, not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. My God, and you dare struggling. My God, my God. The disciples said, who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them, said unto them, what? With man. With man. This is Hallelujah. 
this is impossible. Oh, when God, all my things are possible. God, God will hit my it looks say, I'm not able, I can't do it, but God will turn it around and turn the impossible and make it possible. All you got to do, hold your confidence in God. I don't care how bad it looks, just remember, fight it through God. But with God, all things are possible. My God, you know, God will turn something. I said this. My God, the, the pastor went on further. Listen what Peter said. Read on. And answer Peter and said unto him. Answer Peter said unto him. Behold, we have forsaken all. My God, you know, somebody. Have forsaken all. Somebody done forsake something. He that cometh to him must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you can just believe in Jesus, he will make the impossible possible. My God, my God, he that cometh to God must, must, must believe. You got to come believe him. Hallelujah. You can work it out. I believe you can change my life. Oh, yes. I believe you say if yes. any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. I believe you can turn my life around. I believe you can give me a new life. I'm coming to you, Lord, but I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm giving up everything, Lord. I forsake, I forsake all. The word is right. I don't give up everything. God see what you're giving up. To come to him. Read on. That's not the way there for. Old Matthew, we have forsaken all. Yes. So Peter said. Then uh, answer Peter. Answer Peter. And said unto him. I said unto him. Behold. Behold. We have forsaken all. You know God know what you give up? Yeah, he know what you're giving up. If you got to give up a second companion for the kingdom of God's sake, he know what you're giving up. He know what you're giving up. You got to give up your sweetheart, your lover, whatever you got to give up. Paul said those things which was dear to me. You're going to have to give up something that's very dear to you. Something that you love so much. But for Christ's sake, he says, suffer the loss of all things. You got to give it up. For Christ's sake, I'm coming to you, Lord. He that cometh to God must, must believe. He is. I believe. You're going to pay me off. I believe, Lord. You're going to reward me. Why, God, Peter said, we have forsaken all. That's it, Bishop. We have forsaken all. How much? All. All and follow thee. You know, some people over here, that's why we got to see that we love one another with a pure heart, fervent. Some people don't give up everything to come to God. All we have is one another. We, oh, we don't lose ours with the natural family. Paul said, all men forsook me, but Christ stood by me. You might have to lose a lot. Somebody might be close to you. They might turn their back on you. But let me tell you, my God, all we have is one another. But the Holy Ghost spake to Peter. And I'm coming on back there. Hold that scripture. But get me First uh, Peter 2 and 9. We forsaken all to follow thee. Yes. But my God, somebody say, I'm a part of the family of God. What a blessing to be a part of the family of God. First Peter chapter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen generation. God chose us. We didn't chose ourselves. He chose us to walk this narrow way. 
but we are chosen generation, a royal generation, a royal, a royal a holy priesthood. nation. Hi, God, I'm so glad to be with that holy nation, a holy nation. Yes, a peculiar people. What kind of people? A peculiar people. You ain't gonna find us in every corner, but we are a peculiar people. People that you should that show, for should the show for the praise. He called you out of darkness. God, he called us out of he darkness. He called us to walk this narrow way. Call us out of out darkness. Of darkness. In his marvelous Hallelujah. light. It is a marvelous light. You know, when the light turn on, you can't help but praise God. My God, you might have a few tests, a few conflict but just to know that he called you out of darkness into this marvelous light is enough to make you praise God is enough to make you say thank you Jesus is enough to make me clap my hand. hallelujah to God why because he called us out of darkness my God go on back to Peter. Then answer oh, Peter. My God, Peter. I'm back in uh, Matthew. My God, uh, hallelujah. Then 19, 26. Then answer Peter. And said unto him. Said unto him. Behold, we have forsaken all. Wait a minute. My God. We were in our ship. Men in the net. Me and my brother Andrew. We were there fishing. You call us to come and follow you. We forsook our ship. I, God, we left our ship. We left everything to come to follow you. Say, you're going to make us fishers of men. Oh, James and his brother John. My God, they were in the ship with the father Zebedee. He called them out the ship. They forsook the father and the ship. So Peter said, we are forsaken all. I follow thee. Hallelujah. You know somebody don't give up everything. My God, I'm leaving all. To do what? To follow Jesus. I said, I've turned from all my foolish way. My God, read on. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. And followed thee. What shall, what shall we have therefore? Read on. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Oh, what a blessing to follow Jesus. You know he gonna pay us off for following him? Listen what he said. Verily. I say unto you. I say unto that you. That ye which have followed me. He which have followed me. In the regeneration when the son of man shall sit. Hallelujah. Read on. In the throne of his glory. Of his glory. Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones. My God, he gonna pay us off. Read on. In the twelve tribes of Israel. Read on. And everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or wait sister. Wait a wait a minute. Go slowly with this. You know somebody done forsake what? Have forsaken houses. Houses or brethren. Somebody done turn. The brother won't come. But you said, brother, I'm going. Where are you going? I'm going. I'm going with the people of God. My brother won't come. But brother, if you don't come, I'm going on with Jesus anyhow. My God, our brethren. Or sister. Sister? Or sister. I love you. But my sister, I got to forsake all. I got to leave you. Don't let the flesh uh, stop you from coming to God. Read on. Yes, our oh, father. My God, I forsook my father. Oh, mother. Mother, I have a mother that I love so much. She wrap her arm around me. Hi, God, and hug me around the collar. Son, what running you away from the house? At the young age of 21, I say, I got to go. 
when I heard this gospel, she break down in tears. I shed a few tears, but I said, Mama, I'm going. Son, the house is yours. So many things. Why, God, what running you away from the house? I said, Mama, I got to go. But I didn't know the scripture say you shall hear a voice behind you saying you this is the way. Walk therein. So I have to leave, Mama. My God, my God. For I say, Mother. Oh, wife. Oh, wife. Oh, children. Don't let, because it's only for this life. Yeah, and in, if in this life only, yes. we have hope in Christ, we have all met, whatever you got to give up to follow God, give it up. Amen. Give it up! Give it up! Amen. Read on, sir. Why for children? Or, or, read on. Or lands. Or, oh, hallelujah. Don't fight over a piece of land and lose your soul. Our land. For my name's sake. For who? For my name's sake. For my name's sake. Shall receive a hundredfold. Read on. And shall inherit everlasting life. James, just remember, everlasting life is involved. Oh, yes. Everlasting, everlasting life. life. My God turned to Matthew. My God, what a mighty God. Sixteen. My God, I, I, when you're understanding open to the truth of the gospel, Matthew chapter 16, 13, what a blessing, saints. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Everlasting life is involved. Matthew 16 and verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, read on. Yes, his disciples saying, Read on. Who do men say that I, the son of man? You know, every. Everybody don't know who Jesus is. But somebody say, I'm so glad I know whom Jesus is. Hallelujah. My God, you know, when you're understanding Hallelujah. open, you are blessed saints. Yes. We have a lot to praise God for. Praise I'm God. so glad I know. Everybody don't know. My God, so everybody, so many people are confused out there. But when you're understanding open and you know who Jesus is, it's something to rejoice about. Read on. Saying, Read on. Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? I, the son of man, am? And they said, they say, some say thou are John the Baptist. Some, some. Said they had, you are John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Some say. That's why you can't follow the crowd. That's it. You got to be sure about oh, your yes. salvation. You can't run behind what some say, what this one say. You got to know it according to the sure. word of God. Some, some say. John the Baptist. That's John the Baptist. why when I get up here, I, I preach it with all my heart. My God, some Paul make all men see. Some say. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Some Elias and other Jeremiah. Otherwise, they were just guessing. Seemed like they were just guessing. Mm -hmm. Some say Elias. Or some others. say Jeremiah. Or one other prophet. Otherwise, they were just confused. But God don't want us to confuse. He come and give us an understanding. Yes. How one of the prophets, that means they didn't know. Read on. He said unto them, I, For whom say ye that I am? He said, I want to make sure you know who I am. Yes. Peter said, we were with him in the holy mouth. My God, Peter, know who he was. My God, my God. Read on. He said unto them, For whom say ye that I am? Whom say he that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Oh, I thank God for old Peter. Oh, Peter, I got it right. Simon answered and said, Thou art the Christ. We know who you are. You are the, the Christ, Christ. The son of the living God. I got you, God. The son of the living God. God was man without controversy. 
great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. My God, you know, even the devil knows who he was. My God, even the devil knows who he was. Ah, yes. The devil said, I know you. I know you. My God, you the holy one. You the one that cast me out. I know who you are. My God, you don't fool me. Even though you wrap yourself in that body. I know you. You the one that cast me out. Or you come to torment me before the time. My God, my God. That devil know and he believe it's one God and tremble but he have you believe God the Father, God the Son God have you believe it's three but he know it's only one read on if he I'm answer and say, Simon and sons. thou the Christ you are the Christ the son of a living God read on Jesus answered and said unto him, said unto him Bless your thy son and by Jonah. You know you're blessed when you're understanding open. When you're understanding open to know who Jesus is, you are blessed. Blessed Simon by Jonah. Simon by Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee. Read on. But my father, which is in heaven. Read on. I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. Upon this rock. My God. God, I'm going to build up on this rock. I will build my church. Build it on the spirit. I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell. I, I want the world to know we in something. No power on earth can prevail against it. Why? The gates because of it's set up by God. God Almighty, he said, in the days of his king, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. No power on earth gonna break up what God set up. No power on earth gonna break up what God set up. That's why is it to you that our trouble come rest with us as long as you're in God church, the gates of hell hallelujah, shall not prevail against, against it. it. Read on. I give unto thee. I give unto thee. The keys the of the key kingdom of, of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on it's earth. God say if you bound it on earth, shall be bound I'm in heaven. Gonna bound it in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth. I'm gonna work with the apostle. I got rid of thou and loose it. And if you loose it on earth, shall be I'm gonna loose it in heaven. Read on. Then charged his disciples. <laughs> yes. That they should tell no man. No man. He was Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Read on. From that time forth. Yes. Began Jesus to show his disciples. Read on. How that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things. Read on. Of the elders and chief priests. All and right. Scribes and be killed. Read, and read on. And he may be raised again the third day. Yes. Then Peter took him. Yes. And began to rebuke him. Read on. Saying, be it far from thee. Far from thee. Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Read on. But he turned and said unto Peter. Read on. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art offense unto me. Read on. For thou savest not the things that be of God. Read on. For those that be of men. Read on. Then said Jesus unto his disciples. This is what I want. If any. All right, world. All right, creation. Listen what is Jesus said. Then said Jesus unto his disciple, If any man come, will come after me. Any man. Will come after me. Any woman. Will come after me. Let him deny himself. You know it's something you're going to have to deny. Oh yes. It's something you're going to have to Hallelujah. give up. Hallelujah. To follow Jesus. Yes. It might be. Oh my God. What thing of gain. To me, you know you're going to have to give it up to follow God. Read on. Let him deny himself and take up his cross. Take up his cross. And follow me. Read on. For whoso would save his life shall lose it. Whatever you're holding on to. Shall lose it. That life of pleasure. That life that you love so much. 
Don't let that life of sin cause you to lose eternal life. My God, read on. Who shall would save his life shall lose it. Shall lose it. Who will lose his life for my sake. That's it. I lose everything. I give up everything. That's what Peter said. We have forsaken all to follow thee. Whosoever will lose his life. His life. For my sake shall find it. I lost that natural life, but I found eternal life. Shall find it. But well, what if a man profit? Well, what is a man profit? Listen this now. If he should gain the whole world. Go ahead. And gain, gain the, whole, the whole world. And lose his own soul. Beloved. Don't let this worldly thing cause you to lose your soul. That's it, Bishop. Let's sing a song more than a horn. You're going to need Jesus. When you come to the end of your journey. It's going to be an end, beloved. You're going to need him to be your very best friend. Oh, what yeah. is a man prophet? He should gain Go ahead man. and count up the cost. Go ahead and add it up. But he said, what is a man prophet? If he gained the whole world. Go ahead and gain the whole and world. lose his own soul. You're going to lose your soul? For this worldly life again, your soul and lose his own soul. And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? In exchange for his soul. Get me Psalms 49, I believe, and 4 before time fail me. In a, a, what you going to give in exchange for your soul? I don't care if you have mansion. Say you can build, cathedral, lodge. Are small, but only what you do for Christ. That's it, Bishop. That's what gonna lost. Hallelujah. Read on. Psalms forty-nine and four. I will incline my ears to the parable. Read on. I will open my mouth. My, my do, I will open my dark saying. Read on. Upon the heart. Read on. Wherefore shall I fear? Read on. On the day of evil. In the day of evil. When the iniquity of my heels shall come past me about. Read on. They that trust in their wealth. You're going to let your wealth cause you to lose your soul? No, sir. Do you hear what is it? They that trust in their wealth. They that trust in your wealth. And boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. Some people boast how wealthy, how rich they are. Read on. None of them can be by any means redeem his brother. Do you hear what the Holy None Ghost said? All your money and all your riches cannot redeem your brother. Amen. Read on. You'll give to God a ransom for him. You can't pay off God. Glory to God. All your money, you, you be a billionaire. Amen. You can't pay God off. Amen. My God, you can't pay God off. Hallelujah. So what you got to do? My God, you better humble yourself. That's why we are so happy in God. That's why we are over here praising God and encourage you. You out there that are trouble, you need to come in God church. Oh, yes. Don't stay out there, beloved. Ain't no time to be confused. You better get me St. John chapter uh, four, four chapter of St. John and verse and verse 19. God don't want us to be confused. He come and he give us an understanding. That's why on the day of Pentecost, my God, Peter opened, I, I, I mean, down there, he, he opened the apostle understanding. Yeah. So on the day of Pentecost, Peter preached it because his understanding was open. Listen what the word of God said in St. John chapter 4. Let me work against time before it run out on me. The woman the, said unto him. The woman said unto him. Sir, sir, I perceive that our prophet. Otherwise, she were confused. She were confused just like the one up there in Matthew 13. Some say there was John the Baptist. Some Elias. Some say one of the prophets. One of the prophets. They were confused. God don't want us to be confused. Amen. Read on. I perceive that there are prophets. Read on. Our father worship in the mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place. Read on. Where men ought to worship. Ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman. Woman. Believe me. Believe the me. The hour coming. My God. 
They are our coming. Jesus will be in this mountain. Read on. No, yet yeah, Jews will worship the Father. Worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not. He worship. You know not what? What a blessing when you know. My God, saints, we are blessed when our understanding open. He worship. You know not That's what? That's why we have to pray for the people that God give you understanding so you can understand the truth of the gospel. Don't just follow the crowd. He worship. No, not what? No, not what? We know. We know. What we worship. Hallelujah. What a blessing. That's why Paul said we know in whom we believe. And we are persuaded. I want the world to know. We know. What we worship. That's why you need to come with us. Why? Because we know yeah, what, what we, we worship. worship. But salvation is of the Jews. Read on. But the hour coming. The hour coming. And now is. And now is. When the true worshiper shall worship the Father. Shall worship the Father. In spirit. Read on. And in truth. And in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Read on. God is his spirit. My God, do you hear what the word says? God is his God spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him. They that worship him. Must. Must. must worship him. God tell in us. In spirit and in truth. How he want us to worship him. In spirit. And in truth, must, 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 yes, so maybe so about it, must, it's a must, 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 worship him, in spirit, in spirit, and in truth, in truth, for the father seek it, for the father Yes. I guess time ran out. I don't see the light. I don't know what's going on. But anyhow, the time finished. All right. You got to repent. According to Acts chapter 2, 36. Yes. Therefore, read on. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made that same Jesus. Whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter. And to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right. This is what you must do. Jesus said, except a man be born. Yes. He cannot, again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. All right, write to us, call us up. We'll be back next week, Lord. We're in the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call us via WhatsApp at 803- 518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you with our prayer.
Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. I'm saying, saints, it's a blessing to be chosen by God. Is that we are blessed. It's a blessing to be chosen by God. My God, we are blessed, saints. It's a blessing. That's why Apostle Paul say, you see, you call it. In 1 Corinthians 1, 26, it's a blessing, saints. I don't take this light. Just to be chosen by God is a great blessing. I'm saying it's a blessing to be chosen by God. Apostle Paul spake these words. For you see your calling, brethren. My God. You know you ought to see your calling. You see your calling, brethren. How are there not many wise men after the flesh? Not many wise men. After the flesh. No after the flesh. Flesh. No, not mighty, not many mighty men. Hallelujah. That's right. I see my calling. Not many wise men. After the flesh. After the flesh. Yes. Not many mighty, nor many nobles are called. Not many mighty men. Not many mighty. Not many noble. Yes, our call. Our call? But God has chosen the foolish things the of thing the world. that people look Amen. down at. Yes. I see God Almighty. He chose us. The foolish things. My God, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we didn't chose ourselves, but God chose us. My God, Paul said, when it be that separated from his mother womb, to reveal it unto him. You know you are blessed when this thing revealed to you. That's a blessing, saints. My God. I see why those apostles took off. And went on preaching the word of God. They went on running. My God. And wouldn't look back. What do you say, Paul? My God. Paul spake his word in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 15. My God, when it please God. But when it please God. I don't say you're going to please everybody. <laughs> I see my visiting sister stand up and sing a beautiful song. I saw, I saw Deacon. I'm looking at Deacon, Billy Core Worker. He's uh, not by accident, but God is the one bringing us together. Ohio and all around. We just have a wonderful week of service here. Seeing a missionary conference. My God, I see God bringing his people together. It's not a force. That's why we have to receive who God put in oh, the body. Yes. I heard Bishop Lewis say it's not a force. But who Bishop Lewis? God saw him in Montgomery, Alabama. And brought him out. My God, wherever he brought you from, you have something to thank God. I praise God. For us ever, I thank Christ Jesus, my Lord. It's something to thank God for when he put you in the place you're in the church. What did he say? But will it please God who separate me from my mother's womb? Oh, yes, he did. He testified. Tell me you and Bishop Goodwin need a good whip. He said you done lost your mind. But I didn't let that stop me. No, sir, Bishop. I keep running on. Somebody say, I'm running on with Jesus anyhow. Test gonna come, but you might have to be alone. But run on with Jesus anyhow. True tribulation. I'm going on with Jesus anyhow. Don't tell me if you got to take a well-made-up mind. You can make it. God brought me here at the age of 21. Didn't know no family member. Nobody in here. Came in here at the age of 21. But I keep my eyes on the word of God. When it please God. Separate me from my mother's womb. He's the one. Which separate me from my mother's womb. From my mother's womb. And call me by his grace. Huh? 
Call me by his grace. My God, we are the call of God. He called me. By his grace. By his grace. To reveal his son in me. Do you know when this thing revealed to you? My God is a blessing. To, you have a lot to praise God for. To reveal his son in me. That I might preach him among the heathen. Read on. And me that I confer not with flesh and blood. You can't stay there. Try to me. That's why Paul said if I yet please men. Yes. I never be a servant of please Jesus God. Christ. You try to get your whole family member. Oh I've been to a church. Oh my God. It sounds so good and by the time they finish with you, they talk it all out of you. That's why Paul said, if I yet please men, yes. I'll never be a servant of Jesus Christ. Confer not with flesh and blood. Yes. But what? Neither when I have to Jerusalem. My God say, you know when you get this thing, you got, you got to save yourself. You're going to suffer a lot. You're going to go through a lot of tests. But can you glory in that test you're going That's through? That's it, Bishop. Listen, listen what Paul went through. Mm -hmm. Listen, after he got in the church, people get mad with you for coming in God's church. Yeah. But you didn't put yourself in the church. Yeah. You know who put you in the church? You better get me. I think Jeremiah spake those words. In Jeremiah, my God, Jeremiah 31 and verse 1. Time. Listen what Jeremiah said. At that same time, at, at that the same, same time, time read on. The Lord will I be the God of all family of Israel. He's the God of all family. All family of Israel. Read on. And they should be my people. What? They should be my people. Somebody said, You brought me, Lord. You paid the price. And I belong to you. What a blessing to be a child of God. They shall be my people. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. The people which were left of, left others who have found grace in the wilderness. Saints, you don't know how glad I am. I found grace. Grace in the wilderness. We found grace. We found grace. We found grace. Yes. His grace and mercy. He is the father of mercy. My God, we found grace in the wilderness. We found grace. Yeah. We found grace. Yes. In the wilderness. Even Israel. Even Israel. When I went to cause him to rest. Read on. The Lord appeared unto all of old. Read on. Unto me saying. Saying. Yea. Yea. I have loved thee with the everlasting love. Yes. Men love not everlasting. I hate to say it, but man can love you a minute and then look at something go wrong. The past you never speak. One minute, the next minute. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. What's went wrong? I thought we were just. Men love will change. Oh, but yes. God love is unconditional. I have loved thee with the everlasting love. I love thee. With the everlasting love. What kind of love? Everlasting love. God love is everlasting. That's why somebody said, I can do what? All Depend on God. Through the storm, through the rain. You can depend on God yes. because his love is an everlasting. Praise God. That's it, Bishop. Saying? That's it, Bishop. Somebody everlasting love. You might be in the valley, Brother Vincent, but just remember, somebody said he cares. Yes, he, he cares. I know my blessed Savior cares. Why? He loved me with an everlasting love. Therefore, hallelujah. Loving kindness. Ah. With loving kindness. Oh, saints, that's why I love God. With loving kindness. Have I drawn thee? We didn't come here by ourselves. He draws on in here. 
That's why it says, see that we love one another. Yes. With a pure heart. Fervently. Being born again. God love us. How? With an everlasting love. love. Read on. Therefore, with loving kindness. With loving kindness. Have I drawn thee? Have I drawn thee? Have I drawn thee? We were drawn in here. His loving kindness. That's it, Bishop. It draws on in here. That's why we can't help but love God. Paul, after Paul got in the church, you know what Paul called him? In, in I think, in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter, I believe it's in the chapter uh, 1 and verse, uh, third verse, but you can go up from verse 1. 2 Corinthians, what a blessing. Paul called him the father of mercy. Oh, yeah. The God? Yes. You know you can get comfort in God's saints? Paul said all men forsook him. But God stood by him. I don't worry about what you confronted with. As long as God's standing by you, you will come out with the victory. Read on. Peace be to you and peace from God the Father. Read on. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he cast all your cares on him. Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy. Who? Who he is? The Father of mercy and the God of all comfort. Thank you, Lord. My brother Cody, there is comfort in God. His mommy went on, his brother not around with him. But oh, Cody, his head on. Oh, yes. Cody, his head on. Sometimes. You might have to cry sometimes. Somebody said, trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. But that's all right. Who got, you know, God fix it for, for, uh, for, for my acting Nick and Codis. He was down there. He been through a lot. I see his suffering been with me. But then God gave him somebody to, uh, in the flesh uh, to give him a natural comfort. God turn around and bless him with a wife. Yes. I got him. Cody. Cody, there was a time Cody go home to the empty house. <laughs> but now we have somebody. Hallelujah. God give us, give him somebody yes, around. Bishop. Ain't no way Cody can keep silent. She's so happy jumping all around the house. She's so full of joy. I got even when code is tired, get up, sing. <laughs> My God, God, he will work it out for you. Hallelujah. You know, God know how to work it out. Yes. Just turn it over to God, saints. If you turn it over to God, God know how to work it out. Bless us. be God. Be God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father mercy. Saints, he is the Father a mercy. Just remember, he is the father. I see uh, Elder Murray talk about how God show him the love and loving kindness and mercy. How God brought back his son, Alice. Alice said, come on, daddy. I'm going to take you on to church. My God, when Sister Vicky working, Alice said, come on, dad. Why? God know how to fix it, saints. He know how to fix it. My God, he is a father. Father mercy. Father of mercy. And the God of all comfort. Saints, you're going to hit some hard spot along this highway of holiness. Oh, yes. But just remember, he is the father of mercy. And the God of all comfort. You know you can find comfort in God. That's it, Bishop. When it seems like every man, Paul said, all men forsook him. <laughs> but God stood by him and strengthened him. My God, when it seems like everything going against you, you don't know how you're coming out. Just remember, bless us. Bless the God. Be it a God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read on. The Father of mercy. Saints, just turn it over. 
sometimes I'm facing things. I'm not going to. Uh, it gets rough sometimes. Oh, yes, but I tell God. You the father of mercy. Yes. Lord I know you are able. If you don't help me. Who else going to help me. If you don't bring me out. Who else going to bring me out? You know, God love when we can acknowledge him. He said, in all our ways, we sh you know, God love when you come to him and acknowledge him. I tell God, if you don't bring me out, Lord, who else going to bring me out? Lord, you promise you won't leave me. You promise you won't forsake me. Come on, Jesus. You the father of mercy. Yes, Don't be afraid, saints, to open your mouth and talk to the father of mercy. The father of mercy. Just all he wants you to do is come boldly before the throne of grace so you can find help that is able to help us. In a time, you know, trouble gonna come. Oh, yes. But remember, we got a God. When you are, when you are away from all humanity, seem like nobody there with you. You got a God. He is the Father of mercy. The Father of mercy. Of mercy. And the God of all comfort. He is the God of what? All comfort. You know, God, you can find comfort in God. That's it, Bishop. You know, the, the Jonah, Jonah went down to the bottom. You know, I don't care how low you go down. Amen. God can pick you up. Praise God. Jonah went down to the bottom. Jonah said, all hope was done, taken away. Seemed like there was no way out. But Jonah, in Jonah chapter 2 and 1. Then Jonah prayed. Saints, we got to know how to pray our way out. That's it, Bishop. Don't be afraid to talk to God. Pray your way out of that condition. The test going to come. But remember, you got a God. Don't care how bad it look you can pray your way out oh, yes. you can talk to god almighty then jonah do what then jonah prayed he, unto the lord he, is god he prayed Glory to god. Lord, come on come on you the father come of on, mercy Bishop. I need help. Yes, Lord. When Hezekiah heard uh, uh, from Isaiah, set your house in order. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Yeah. Set your house in order. All right. Then Jonah prayed. I guess she got to go to work early. I shall help her get up. Yeah. And that's all right. We enjoy your present here. Amen. But she got to go to work. I shall help her. Yeah. All right. Yes. Read on. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. His God. Out of the fish belly. Saints, I'm saying regardless what the condition, what the situation, you can pray your way out. That's it, Bishop. I don't care how low you go down. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you can pray your way out. Amen. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. Out of the sing a song, say, if you pray, you got the key. You know, prayer will unlock something for you. Come on. He prayed unto the Lord his God. Unto the Lord his God. Out of the fish belly. I don't care what you're confronted with. You can pray your way out. Out of the fish belly. And said, I cry by reason of my affliction. Sometimes you know you got to know how to cry to God. That's it, Bishop. I cry. My affliction. Somebody say, I cry. Yes. You know, I'm going to cry, Brother Ross. Brother Ross, I know how. 
Sometimes you got to get before him like a little child. Tears running all over your face. But I'm crying. I need help, Lord. Ah, sometimes, you know, everybody, God don't want us to come so be like a big person. He want us to humble ourselves. Oh, yes. He want to come humble himself and become like a little child. Sometimes things don't press me. Oh, but yes. I cry. Sometimes I stay there all night till six. I got up and more, got off my knees. It was uh, almost five o'clock this morning. But you know you got to cares this life. But you got to put it to God. I cry. Yes. By reason of my affliction. By reason. Of my affliction. My God. By reason of my affliction. Unto the Lord. And he heard me. Sometimes you can't cry to everybody. Right about you got to know how to take that thing to God. Can you put it before God? The Bible says she put her list before God. Can we put that thing you're facing before God? I cry. My affliction unto the Lord. I love to cry. God say, see my tears. I love to cry before him. I cry. You know my affliction. You know, the late Bishop Rodman, good. Well, I didn't love to see him cry. He break down like a baby and start crying. Oh, my father. We had him overseas. And I know he was going through a lot of nefarious and fear. We sleeping in the same bed. We have one bed in the same room. And my God, he's a son. I know you got to go sleep. But then he got, uh, I thought he'd go to sleep because we have a rough trip. Three hours hard trip coming. My God got in a boat three, four o'clock and he said, all right, we got to get up for the next journey. We got to leave out early 11 in the morning. But I thought he'd gone in the bed. <laughs> then I, God was so tired I could hardly get my clothes and say, our father. And lay in the bed, I wore the show. I was dry, I just lay back and all of a sudden, I thought he'd gone to sleep. I heard a sound. I said, what the world going on? And I'm sleeping. I could hardly get my eyes. Oh, when I opened my eyes, and I looked, and he was down there. I said, my God, what's going on here? I said, ain't no way I'm going to sleep in this bed. I, God, I have to roll out the bed, get on that hardwood floor. Meanwhile, he down there wrestling. And I start wrestling and crying out myself. Saying, you know, you got to know how to cry to God. Like, God, this is a praying journey. You know you got to pray your way out over here. Oh, Read on. I cry by reason of my affliction. Of my affliction. Unto the Lord and he heard me. Who heard him? He heard me. God is a prior answer in God. He heard me. I the of hell cry I. My God. Read on sir. And thou heard my voice. You know God is a, you know God will hear your voice. One place, one place, you know what Jeremiah said? Don't hide your ear from the breathing. Hear the breathing that I'm breathing. Ooh. Yes, it's Bible. Jeremiah, you got an old cry. That lamentation, third chapter, I think is the 55th verse. You got to know how to get down to that place, saints. Where you can cry. Don't you don't go too low for God to hear and bring you out. I don't care how low you go down. God is a prior answer in God. God wants us to cry out to him. Read on. What is it? Lamentation. Third chapter and the 55th verse. I believe that. I it. call upon the name of the Lord. I call upon the name of the Lord, O Lord. You know God want us to call upon him. You got to know how to open your mouth. Saints, I'm not. Uh, Sometimes my old 
flesh, hurting, body tired, fasting and everything. But I lay before God all night long. Come on, Jesus. If you don't help me, who else gonna help me? If you don't bring me out, who else gonna bring me out? I say, I, I call. call. Call thy name, O oh Lord. You better know how to call. Jesus. Somebody say, I call. Jesus. I call. Jesus. I got an answer. I call. Upon thy name. Upon thy name. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Out of the low dungeon. Sometimes you're down so low. My God, he said he put it so low in the low. Every time he opened his mouth, they put him back in the dungeon. But he said, I call upon thy name. Oh, Lord, out of the low dungeon. I don't care how low you go down. You don't go down too low for God to hear you. He's a prior answering God out of the low dungeon. Now he's heard my voice. God said, hey, Jeremiah said, you heard my voice. Why not thy ears at my breathing? Hallelujah. Even the very breathing. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you're breathing heavy. Yeah. But my God, he said, Lord, don't hide your ear. Don't hide your ear. From my breathing. From my breathing. At my cry. Oh, Lord, look up at the tears, Lord. Yeah. He see your very tears. My God saying, you can get away and cry out to God Almighty. My God. God, because you know what he said? In Isaiah, I believe, 65 and 24, before you call. I will answer. Huh? I will answer. God said before you call. That's why the devil don't want us to call. He don't want us to call. But if I got to call all night, he said before we call. I will answer. Huh? I will answer. Do you know God is a prayer answering God? He said before we call, I, I will answer. Do you hear what? And he's a God that cannot lie. He said it is impossible for God to lie. While the enemy talking, I'm crying. I'm praying before you call. I will answer. I'm gonna, God say, he's gonna answer. And while they are yet speaking. Huh? And while they are yet speaking. While we are yet trying speaking. to get the word out. I while we yet speaking. I God hear. promise, I'm gonna hear you. I'm gonna bring you out. I don't care how bad it is. God is a deliverer. God is a way maker. Talk to God, saints. Open your mouth and tell God about it. Tell God, Jeremiah, I tell God about it. I hear Jehoshaphat that told him the enemy wants to scare you. Hallelujah. But remember, we got a God in Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Let me hear what he say. I want to leave this with you. Go on back home. Go on away from here. Tell the devil, I'm coming out with the victory. His victory in God. His deliverance in God Almighty. I'm going to call Hebrews chapter 13, 5 and 6. What he say? Hebrews. 13, I believe that's it. Yes. Uh, what is it? So that we may boldly say. You know, God don't want us back up. He want, even in your lowest state. Come on, Bishop. You, God want you to tell somebody, how you doing? I'm doing great in God. How you feel? I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. All my trouble and my trial. I'm coming out. So that you may boldly say. The Lord is my helper. Who is your helper? The Lord. Who is your helper? The Lord is my Tell helper. Tell somebody. My God is greater than you. My God is bigger than you. You know the devil want us to 
put the problem I God and keeps uh, tell God how big the problem is but if you can look away from that problem and talk to that problem my God is bigger than you my God is greater than you you got to have so that he may boldly say God is my helper who is your helper? The Lord is my helper. Who is your helper? The Lord is, the my, Lord is my helper. Is my helper. And I would not fear. If the devil can put fear, he get you. But they say, I won't fear. I will not fear. I won't fear. What man shall do unto me? What man shall do unto me? Don't fear. What man? What man shall do unto me? Why? Don't fear. That's it, Bishop. Don't back up. Boldly say, yeah. The Lord is my help. The Lord is my helper. You know, if God is your helper, that's why Jeremiah talks so big. In Jeremiah, I believe, 2011. You know what Jeremiah said? What is it? The Lord is with me. Just make sure God is with you. You've got to come out. I don't care how bad the condition look. Just make sure God is with you. When, when, God, when David went out to meet Goliath, David know who is with him. David know the one that deliver him from the lion and the bear. Just remember, if he brought you through that test, he will bring you through the oh, one you're yes, facing amen. now. I God say, Lord, you brought me through this and you brought me through that. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. The same God that bring me through that test. He's the same God going to bring me through the one I'm facing now. David say, yea, though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of Dead. I won't fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, thou comfort me. You brought me through that. I believe you're going to bring me through this one. The Lord is with me. As long as you know God is with you, you tell yourself I'm coming out. You claim the victory. Oh, Somebody yes. say, I'm not going to wait till the battle is over. I'm going to shout right now. I'm going to praise God right now. I'm going to thank God right now. Yeah, though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, everything going against me. But I'm going to give you the praise. I'm going to praise you ahead of time. I don't believe you're going to leave me here. Don't you slay me. Yet I'm still gonna trust you. I'm still gonna give you the praise. I'm still gonna give you the glory. That's to know that the Lord is with me. The Lord, the Lord is with me. I want the world to know we are coming out. The church is coming out. Why are we coming out? Because the Lord Who is with me. Who is with us? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord is with me. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord is with me. I'm going through the valley of the shadow of death. But what's the matter, David? I ain't going to fear no evil. One place David said he cover up his head in the day of Baca. The Lord is with me. Is who? Is with me. Is with me? The Lord? The Lord is with me. As what? As a mighty terrible one. Do you don't want to get in the hands of an angry God? Mighty terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors, my persecutor shall stumble. I'm not saying you're not going to have persecutor, but they will come right up on you and they stumble. Shall stumble. They shall stumble. They shall not prevail. What? They shall not prevail. Do you hear what the man of God said? They shall not prevail. 
Not prevail? Not prevail. Not prevail? Not prevail. If God said it shall not prevail, he means just what he said. Stay with God, saints. Stay with God. Second Chronicles 13, I believe, and verse 12. And I'm going to round it up and close out. But I want you to go away from here. Tell yourself I'm coming out. Why? Because the Lord is with me. Second Chronicles, I believe, 13 and 12. And behold, that's what you want to know now. Behold, God himself is with us. Saints, as long as you know God is with you, yes. you got to come out. Don't be afraid. Tell somebody. Behold. God himself is with us. Who is with us? God himself. Who is with us? God. God, God himself. Who is with us? God. God. God himself is with us. Moses coming out of age. The Egyptian got behind them. But when God is with you, he know how to fight for you. My God, he go before you and stand behind you. My God, he know how to lead you out. God himself. Hallelujah. We're not in this by ourselves, saints. God himself. Himself is with us. God. You don't want to go and somebody that God is with. Now you think a meal. I tell them you better take heed. What you're getting ready to do to these men. Your intention not good. Because if this is of God. You cannot overturn it. Less happily you be found. Fighting against God. Don't fight against who God is with. God himself. God Almighty himself is with us. God, God will let the world know God Almighty he is with us. Read on, sir. For our captain. Uh, who is our captain? For our captain. Who is our captain? God. Who is our captain? God himself. God himself. With us. He is with us. For our captains. God is our captain. And his priests. Read on. With the sound of trumpet. Sound the trumpet. And cry alarm against you. Read on. Oh, children of Israel. Listen to this now. Fight ye not against the Lord God of your father. I warn the world all the time. Whatever you do, don't go up against a child of God. Yes, Bishop. Because God is with his people. Fight he not. Against the Lord God of your father. Don't fight against somebody God is with. Don't fight against God people. Fight he not. Yes. Against who? Against the Lord God of your father. For, he shall, for ye shall not prosper. Do you hear what he said? For ye shall not prosper. I'm trying, you know, I used to wonder, Bishop Goodwin used to preach, and he seemed like he tell begging them, whatever you do, don't fight me. He told That's them. That's right, Bishop. He said, whatever you do, don't Amen. fight me. Why? You can't prosper fighting God, people. Because God say you're going to be an enemy to your enemy. Yes. An adversary. To your adversary. To your adversary. They shall come out against you one way and flee before the seven way. See, I will make you the head and not the tail. You're gonna, I'm going to put you above only and not be beneath. When God is with his people, Jonah, did Jonah went down? He went down to the bottom. Oh, yes. But you know God was with him. He said, he pray, that's your victory, saints. You don't go too low for God to Come bring on, you Bishop, out. That's it. You may be way down. 
But he know how to pick you up. Oh, yes. Sometimes it seems like it done gone off from humanity. But God know how to come to your rescue. That's it. When I call, when I'm alone, he will come. He will come. Tell him, you know, sometimes I tell him, come see about us, Lord. Your children need you, Lord. Come on, Lord. Hey, we got to have a laugh. Tell God about it. Read on. And behold, God himself is with us. Saints, God is with us. And if we abide in him, his word abide in us. Then he said, ask. Yes. Are you afraid to talk to God? God? He's such a great big God. Tell me where Jonah talked. What Jonah? Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. You know, you can pray your way out that condition. Come on, Bishop. Oh, thou that hear it, prayer. Yes, glory to and God. And to thee shall all flesh come. Yes. You know, you can pray your way out that oh, condition. Yes. Read on. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish belly. Read on. And said, I cry by reason of my affliction right. unto the Lord. Read on. And he heard me. He out of the belly of hell. Out of the belly of hell. Cry I. Read on. And thou heardest my voice. Read on. And thou hast cast me into the deep. Sometime you're out there into the deep. In the midst of a sea. In the midst. Whatever you're wrapped up in, God is a deliverer. Whatever you're wrapped up Come in on. right now, God can bring you out. That's it, Bishop. Read on. In the midst of the sea. Of the sea. The flood can pass me about. Everything Come pass him about. And the billows and the waves pass over me. Read on. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. Read on. Yet. Yet. I will look again towards thy holy temple. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. That's it, Bishop. Whatever you're facing right now, he's a way maker. Whatever you're wrapped up and have you wrapped up, Jonah said you were wrapped about his neck. Sometimes things wrap you up, but you know you can pray your way out. Oh, yes. Read on. Yes, the water can pass me about. Read on. Even to the soul. Read on. The death closed me round about, and the weeds were wrapped about my head. The weed got him wrapped up. About my head. Whatever got you wrapped up, God is a way maker. He is a deliverer. God can break that yoke. Oh, yes. Set the captive free. Read on. I went down to the bottom of the mountain. Sometimes you feel like you're going down, down, down to the bottom of the mountain. Of the mountain. The earth with her bars. Read on. about me forever. Sometimes it'll wrap about you forever. Has thou uh, brought me up? God will bring you out. My life from corruption. From corruption. Oh, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. When my soul fainted within me. I don't care what you're up against, saints. He said, when your soul fainted within. I remember the Lord. If you can just remember the Lord. Whatever you're battling right now. That's it, Bishop. Don't never give up on God. Hallelujah. Because God said he will not leave you. And he won't forsake you. What are you worried? Jehoshaphat, everybody tell Jehoshaphat, there come a great multitude. Seem like when you conquer one thing, a next thing coming. But you got to keep conquering. That's it, One Bishop. place say, we are more than conqueror. If God is with you, and you know he is with you, you got to come on out. They told him, enemy will try to make you afraid. This coming at you. This coming at you. The next thing coming at you. But if you can just remember the Lord. I'm telling you, beloved, if you hold your confidence in God, you will come out with the victory. Everything. Jehoshaphat were buckling so many things. And sometimes you get news. It's not always good news. Sometimes you're looking for some good news and you get evil. But you know you got to fight in good report, oh, in yes, evil report. Oh, yes, that's it, Bishop. Sometimes, people, sometimes you can't even tell everything. Bad news come, good news come, but can you not remember God? You got to know how to fight. To have to get some evil report. Say, behold, they all coming up against you. But you know what Jehoshaphat did? He said himself, that's 2 Chronicles 20, 
I believe in verse 12. You know what Joseph did? He cried. You know you got to know how to cry out to God. You know you got to oh, say sometimes it's going to get rough. Amen. And it's going to get tough. But as long as you know God is with you. Are you afraid? You say you got God in you. God said greater yes. is he that is in you. That is in you the got world. the great God in you. The devil want to, oh, he, 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 the devil want to overpower. Don't let him overpower you with God in you. The one that made everything. What did he say? Oh, our God. Talk to God. Will thou not judge them? Will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company. Sometimes you go up against things you don't know how you're coming up. Come on, Bishop. But say, Lord, I'm turning it over to you. Lord. I say, Bishop. Will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company. Sometimes you're facing something. Have no might against this great company. That coming against us. Is everything going to come against you? Sometimes it's so much coming against, against a child of God. Yes. It's so many things coming up against a child of God. Read on. Yes, neither know we what to do. Sometimes you don't know what to do. That's it, Bishop. But I want you to know. But our eyes are upon thee. Saints, that's what I want to leave with you. Keep your eyes on God. God say he will never leave us nor forsake us. So that we may boldly say. Yes. Sometimes you don't know how you're coming out. I say, Bishop. But keep your eyes Hallelujah. on God. Hallelujah. That's what I want to leave with you today. Keep your eyes on God. Our eyes are upon thee. Who your eyes on? Our eyes are upon thee. Lord, I'm going to keep my eyes on. As long as you keep your eyes on God. God say he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So that you may boldly say, the Lord says, hold your confidence in God. The buckle is not yours. Turn it over to God. Finish it. But our eyes are upon thee. Upon thee. And all you to stay before the Lord. Stay before God, saints. Sometimes you can call this one, call this one. You're calling somebody that can't help you. Mm -hmm. But when you keep your eyes on God, Paul said, I know. In whom? And what? You know, you got to be fully persuaded. Fully persuaded, Bishop. If you're not persuaded, you start complaining to this one, that one. Ah, yes. You can't see a word. Sometimes you can't see a mumbling word. Not a mumbling word. Did he utter? Hold your confidence in God. I'm telling you, say, keep your eye. I, I don't care how bad the condition look. You know what? It, uh, uh, Elijah wasn't looking at the condition. He said, go look again. Yeah. Servant say, I don't see nothing. Keep your eyes on God. Our eyes yes, are upon thee. Are upon thee. In all Judah, still before the Lord. Just stay there, say. Just stay there. Lord, I'm down here, Lord. What you doing? I'm waiting on you. I can't do nothing until you come. Praise God. You know, God have a set time. He's going to come to your rescue. God know how to come and pull you out. He told Paul, no man shall lay hands upon you to hurt you because I'm with you. Just stay there before God. If you got to cry, I cry all night long. My God, I believe the victory is coming. If I got to shed a few tears, nothing wrong with shedding a few tears. Read on. My eyes upon thee. Upon thee. And all you stood before the Lord with the little ones and wives and the children. Stay there. The little ones. And the ch little ones and the wives and the children. We, we have all night prayer here. Sometimes they bring the little children out. Read on. Yes, then. 
been upon Jehazah, Rita. the son of Zechariah, the Rita. son of Beniah, the Rita. son of Jewel, Rita. the son of Methaniah, the Rita. Levites, of the son of Asher, came the Spirit of the Lord. Say, that's what been in the church. Here came the Spirit of the Lord. In the midst of the congregation. In the midst of the congregation. He said, hearken ye. Hearken ye. All Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Read on. And thou king of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you. Do you hear God talking to us? Thus said the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed. Do you hear what, the, what God said? The devil wanted to may, get us down and make you afraid and oh, get yes. you upset. Looking at the condition. Seem like it's getting worse. But hold your confidence in God. Cast it away, therefore, your confidence. Have such great recompense of reward. Have need of patience after you've done the will of God. It's coming. Read on. Be not afraid nor dismayed. By Why are you letting let that condition get you? you? You serve the great God that made everything. He made the heaven. He made the earth. Without him. There is nothing made that is made. He made everything. And he rolled us up out of the dust. You mean to tell? He knoweth our frame. Yes. All our member is Hallelujah. written within that book. When something go wrong, hey God, are you afraid to open your mouth and tell God, come see about me? Read on, close yes, it. Yes, be not afraid nor dismayed by the reason of its great multitude. Don't let that multitude, don't let that test you're facing get you down. Yes. Don't let that problem you're facing. Do you hear what God said? Yeah. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Nor dismayed. Nor dismayed. By reason of his great multitude. Why? For the battle is not yours. That's what I want to leave with you, saints. Remember. Can you not turn yours. that back over to God? Can you not move yourself out God's way and turn it over to God yes. and let Jesus, let him fix it for you. For the back of yours, but God's. Hallelujah. But who? But God. Did he brought out Jonah? Yes. Brought out Jehoshaphat? The buckle is not yours. But God. But who? But God. But God. Read on. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Go ye down against them. Read on. Behold, they came up by the cliff. Read on. Jesus, and ye shall find them at the end of the book. God know where your enemy lie. Read on. Before the wilderness of Jerusalem. Read on. Ye should not need to fight in this battle. Sometimes you don't prepare yourself and Lord, I got to do this. God come in and give you the victory. They God have an expected end. Oh, he yes. know where you don't prepare to do so much. God and here you. come God while you're sleeping. My God, my God. The power of the Lord was present to heal the people. You know God present here right now. If you can just believe God right now, Hallelujah. you can go out the door and get your victory. Right where you're sitting right now when you get up. Why? Because the power of God is present to heal the people. Turn it over to God. God will fix it. What did he say? Ye should not. He shall not. Need to fight in this battle. Fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still. Stand ye still. And see the salvation of the Lord. Just give God a chance. Yeah. You don't have to fight. Somebody here not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. When they heard this, yes. they were pricking hearts. Said unto Peter, rest up the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Say, so repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your first step. You got to make that stop. I God and stay with me. God bless you. God keep you. We love you. Pray for me. I pray. Let the church say amen. Give our bishop a hand.